Hello. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, good, excellent. Good to hear you and see you guys. Um, all right. So um we I don't know what happened to the other people. Um I'm going to be taking attendance right now. Um all right, so let me open please open up your cameras and I'll it you can open the microphone when you hear your name and then close it back again when you've finished participating. Okay, Ana Lorena Lovato, Orellana. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos. Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Okay. Uh, Carlos uh, Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Okay. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present. Is, okay. Yes, Got present, it. Present. Okay. Yes, I see you. Edwin Antonio Quintero Somaña. Present. Okay, wonderful. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Um, Ulises Torres Torres. Ulises. Present. Okay, wonderful. Um, uh, Present. Yes, I can. I I can hear you, but I can't see you. S Sorry, Elisa. I I can't see you. Present teacher. Yes, I know. I I can hear you, but I can't see you. Your camera is off. Necesitamos su cámara encendida para poder tomar la asistencia. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José Bernardo López Montes. José Bernardo López Montes. José Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Oh, tenemos varios que no están. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. 
Mayra Cecilia Peña de Pericio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Ricardo Ernesto. Okay, wonderful. Eh, Sandra Abigail Boniacano. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Wendy Ramírez Guevara. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Mirna Elizabeth Elferenga Rivas. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Okay. All right, guys and sorry, girls. Me. Sorry, Miss, I don't hear my name. Juan Carlos Herrera. Ah, quizás entró tarde? Mm, I don't know. Maybe I can hear you my name when you, when okay. you mention. Okay. All right, Juan Carlos Herrera. Juan Carlos Herrera. Quiero ver dónde está. Ah. Carlos Herrera Delgado. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. Good evening. Don't mention me. Um, are you sure I didn't mention you, or are you, are you came in late? I'm coming late. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So guys, when you come in late, just wait until the next time that I pass through. Otherwise, we're we're going to be when oh me and me and me. Okay. So you have to wait until the next time that I pass the, the list. Okay. All right. So we're going to um do a review of what we saw last class. Um, at the end of the of the class last time, uh, yesterday, we were looking at the first conditional. Okay, so let's take a look at that right now. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. You see it? Yes. Perfect. Okay, good. So this is what we learned last class. So at the end of the class, we're looking at the first conditional that is used for results in the present or in the future. So just a, a, a reminder about that. It's a result of the present or the future. And the structure is pretty much looks like this. Okay, so if plus a simple present, then will plus infinitive. Or it can be the opposite. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. No, um, or we can also put if plus a simple present plus a modal plus the infinitive. But it also can be the opposite. We can also start with will or the modal 
plus the infinitive. And then if plus the simple present. So it's also possible to do it the other way around. So um, we can do it the two forms, okay? Um, the other thing is that, remember, we were talking about how important it is to write a comma. One second. Second, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So, um, so if the if segment, if we be if um, if we begin the sentence with the if segment, then it's necessary to write a comma. Okay, but if we begin with the result segment, it is not necessary to add a comma. Okay, it's not necessary. Okay, so basically just remember, we can start with the, we can begin with the if statement or, or the if segment, or we can begin with the result segment. It's up to you. So either way is okay. The only difference is that we're going to put a comma if we begin with the results segment. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're gonna put a comma if we begin with the if segment and no comma if we begin with the results segment, okay? Any questions about that? No question. No? Okay. Another another way that we can um, make this is we use in the if, um, the if plus the present simple, and then modal plus infinitive. An example of this is, if you get too angry, you may stop a moment to relax. Okay, so notice, notice that we're using if, just like here, the present simple, which is get, then we have the model, which is may, and the infinitive, stop. Okay, so if you get too angry, you may stop a moment to relax. So that's one way that we can use the model, the modal and the infinitive. Now also, it's possible to use the if plus the present simple, and then an imperative, okay? An example of this would be using if, or, or better said starting with if, like right here, then the present simple, and then the, the present simple here, feel, okay? Or an imperative, like take your time to relax. Is that pretty clear for you guys? So, do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. No? Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, and a question. Yeah. Why don't you use 
uh, will in the sentence and if you feel angry take the time to relax so what don't you use okay mention uh -huh. okay so it's, it's okay um all right so there are we're learning that there are three ways that you can make the the first conditions there are three ways three structures yeah. let's say yeah okay first structure is using if plus a simple present simple plus present. will plus infinitive. infinitive okay that's cool. one way yeah okay. yeah yeah second Okay, so this is one way that you can do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Another yeah. way, another way is using if plus simple present plus the modal plus infinitive. That's another way. Mm -hmm. A third way is if plus the present simple plus Person. imperative. So there are three oh. ways, three ways that we can do it. The most yeah. common is this one, using will, the most common. Yeah. But it's possible to use with a model, a modal, and it is also possible to use with imperative. Okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, does that make sense, Mauricio? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Any questions? Any other questions? And that's a good question. Thank you for asking. Any other questions that you guys have? So it's all, it's clear? This is... The structure is clear for you guys. Okay. All right. So since it's pretty clear, we are going to continue. with the, the sentences. So it says here, complete the sentence using the first conditional structure, okay? And all you gotta do is follow the instructions of the words that are in parentheses, okay? So for example, here, it's not get. So you're going to change this to the negative form of get. Here, it says might be. So you're gonna have to use the word might be. Is that pretty simple? Pretty simple, guys? Do we understand what to do? Yes, teach. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, in that case, um, give me a moment. Okay, you should uh, be getting the, the image right now. 
And I'm going to be putting you guys into breakout rooms so that you can practice. Um, okay. Are you guys ready? Do we understand what to do? Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Ana Lorena? Ana Lorena? Hello, Osman. Jose. Hello, Jose Bernardo. Hello, hello. Hi. Jose Bernardo. Okay, only I. Hi, Jose. Jose Bernardo. Hello. Can you change me? Can you change me the the of group teacher? I'm gonna have to. Okay, there you go. Mr. Bernardo. Hey, sorry, I, I, I just moved. Sorry, I, se le cortó. Creo que se, que apagó el, 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 perdón, el micrófono. I, I was out of the keyboard. Ok, eh, José Bernardo, no, no, no apague el micrófono porque casi no le escucho cuando... Lo, lo, lo enciende y lo paga. Okay, so, Jose, no. but are you going to be able to participate or no? Yes, miss. Okay, so I'm going to have to change it because um, your partner, I, I sent him to another place because you were not answering. So I'm going to have to change you. Okay, here we go. Don't know if you don't know how if to stay in control of yourself, mm -hmm. you won't become mm -hmm. emotionally over overwhelmed. overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you pay attention to the other parties, not verbal signs, you you will understand what really are saying. Mm -hmm. Or we can use it in the negative way. If you don't know, if you don't know how to say in the control yourself. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I... Number five. Number five. Number yes. Five. If you don't, if you don't pay attention. To the other parties, nonverbal, you won't understand what they really are saying. Uh huh. That's correct. If you use 
mm -hmm. humor to deal with conflict. Uh, this is the consequence you you, you make or make sure no. you will make sure will or might. You, no, because might was in the has to be at the parenthesis. Ah, it's another verb. Sorry. Uh -huh. hmm. You will make sure that you love, 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 love. Love with the love. person at them. And not at them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If if you use humor to deal with conflict, you will make sure that you love with them with the person and not at them uh, and not at them uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the second one how was and the second one if the other party uh, remain, si don't. remain silent no uh, no 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 if the other party don't don't remain silent don't keep quiet. I will invite them to resume a conversation. To resume conversation. Just we chat with them and then hit them. <laughs> invite them to Okay. We did it, right? We finished. Yes, we finished. Okay. I think. Okay, so you guys are ready then, right? Yes. Okay. A teacher, yeah. the, yes. It, we were right with the second one. If the other party remains silent or don't or don't remain silent. Okay, remember, it's in the negative form. So whatever it is, you have to put it in the negative form. So you're going to have to use whatever the auxiliary is, that auxiliary has to be in the negative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so, the sentence has, but the sentence has um uh, has a, a good meaning when we said, uh, if the other party don't remain silent, I will invite them to resume conversation, right? Oh, I if, won't invite them. Does it use a negative then? And we use a negative auxiliary in in the beginning, if the other party. If the other party don't remain silent, I will invite them to resume conversation. No. 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 Don't use negative if it doesn't, if it's not negative. So in, mm. in number two, there's no negative. So don't use negative. Ah, okay. Okay. The correct way is is if the other party remains silent, I invite them. I will invite them to resume conversation. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to bring you guys back to the main room. Okay. 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 Okay, all right. Uh, everybody had enough time to finish? Or do you need more time?
Do you have enough time? In my group, in my group we finish the, yeah. the exercises. Yeah, okay. Uh, chicos, ¿se pueden nuevamente encender su cámara? Ahorita solo estoy viendo como un, como un tercio de la clase. Oh. Sé que no sé si los demás están allí, no están ahí. Ok. Eh, otra cosa. So, everybody, can you please... Si están ahí, por favor, enciendan su cámara, porque no tengo idea si, si están o no están. ¿Qué pasa? Ok. Ok, wonderful. So, the rest of you guys, literally guys, oh my goodness, there's only, there's only like three girls here. Wow. Ok. Um, all right, so you you finished? You had enough time to finish or do you need more time? Mm -hmm. I finished the shots. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it seems like you guys are finished, so I will check with you guys. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see yes. it. Perfect, okay. So remember, don't put negatives if it's not a negative, okay? So if it doesn't say not, don't put a not, don't put a negative, okay? Um, okay, so let's begin. If the other, so the first one is, if I do not get enough sleep, I might be cranky the next day. Do you guys understand the word cranky? No. No. What is the meaning? You don't know the word cranky? No. Okay. Cranky means um, to be in a bad mood. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, of course. Cranky means to be in a bad mood. To be in a bad mood. In Spanish, it's mal humor. Like a mal humor. Uh, yeah, it, although it's 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 an it's an adjective. Yeah. Okay, so it's like estar. Estar mal malhumorado. Malhumorado, <laughs> exactly. So malhumorado. But but it's more uh, it's more an informal um use, right? So it don't you would not use this in a formal situation, you know. It's more it's more something you would say with your friends. Okay. Does that make sense? No, yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, and yeah, okay, so let's continue with the next part. Okay, if the other party. Your mind. If the other party. Your mind. Remains. Remain. Remains. What does it mean to remain? In animals with keep, maybe. Permanece. Yeah, to continue. Yeah, it means to continue being. Okay, so in other words, if the other party continues being silent. Okay. Um, okay, got it? Yes. Okay, so if the other party remains silent. I will invite. I will, will invite. invite. 
I will invite them to resume conversation. Okay, or if you want to make it shorter, I'll. I'll invite them to resume the conversation. Or it's possible to say, just invite them to resume the conversation. Does that make sense? Because we could we could make it an imperative. It is possible to make an imperative. Like when you say in Spanish, si el otro, el otro partido um, permanece en silencio, invítalos a que resuman conversación. O a que continúen la conversación. Ok. No. All right, so that's also possible. Okay, let's continue with the next one. The boss will be angry. Yes. Will be angry. If I don't finish the report. If I don't finish, good. If I don't finish. The report on time. Sounds good? No, I think it's, yeah. Yes, yeah? you sure. Okay. Uh, in theory, you can also use other models as well. So um, you can also close on. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No, that's it. That's it. That's the only one. Um, yeah. yeah. Pretty much that's the only one. Okay. Number four. If you don't know. Good. If you don't know how to stay in control of yourself. You will become. Good. You will become. Or, or make it shorter, you'll become. You'll become. Emotionally overwhelmed. Yeah. You'll become emotionally overwhelmed. Okay. Also possible because we're using, we can also use models. You can also say can become. Might become, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, because it's also possible to use any model. Number five, if you. You pay attention. Good. If you pay attention to the other to the other uh, party's nonverbal signals or signs, sorry. You Fine. you will understand what they really are saying. Yes, you will understand or you supposed to be might understand. Okay. Or you can understand. Okay. So any one of those is okay. Number six. Use. If you. Conflict. Use, okay. If you use, yes. if you use humor to deal with conflict. Will. 
you will make. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. I'll make sure. Make sure that you laugh with the person and not at them. Okay. okay. So if you use humor to deal with conflict, make sure that you laugh with the person and not at them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Do do okay. So let's actually talk about vocabulary here because um, I just want to make sure that you understand this vocabulary. So you do understand the other party, right? Yes. So we're not talking about party. Woo -hoo, right. We're not talking about <laughs> that that kind of party. Okay, because party can have many different meanings. And in this case, party means another person or another part, another um, another side of the story. Okay, like when you say el otro partido, right? Y aún la palabra partido en, en, en español tiene tantos significados, ¿verdad? O sea, un partido ¿verdad? puede ser una persona, el otro partido, ¿verdad? Puede ser también un grupo, por ejemplo, el partido de arena, el partido de FM, etc. Et so, it could be a, like a group of people. Um, it could be a soccer match, for example can be in a match okay etc cetera, etc cetera. so there so the word party as well in english has many meanings okay um oh by the way what is the word of what does this mean resume an extract of something mm, a what So this is a verb, to resume. What does it mean to resume? What does it mean to resume? Hacer un resume? Mm -mm. It means to continue. Okay, so that's also, that's, that's what we call a false friend. I think we talked about false friends yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's a false friend. It's not resumen. It's continuar la conversación. Uh -huh. Reanudar. Reanudar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you understand the word overwhelm? Overwhelmed? No, teacher. No idea what is overwhelmed. No. Okay. Overwhelmed means um, to feel too many emotions to handle. Okay. Right. Um, um, to have too many emotions that you can not handle it. Or I handle them or such. How do you how would you say mm. overwhelmed in Spanish? Abrumado. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it means it's too much for you. Right? You you feel that you cannot handle 
what you have. Okay. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, so just make it, well, I just wanted to make sure you understood that you understood those words. Okay. All right, so that's it. You guys understand first conditionals? Yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. In that case, um, now, um, I want you to look at the following sent as uh, situations. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so we have four different situations here. I need a volunteer to help me read one by one. So who can help me read this one, the, the first one? Who can help me read? Me. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Irma. Go for it. My coworker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly, but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know. Thank you. Thank you very much, Irma. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, um, just make sure you say um, interrupt, interrupting me. Not interrupt, interrupt, no, but interrupt, interrupt, interrupting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, do we understand the situation there? Oh, oh, the other one is procedures. Procedures, procedures, procedures. So any questions about the vocabulary or do we understand this this um, situation? Yes. Understood. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Now I need somebody to read the second situation. Me too. Okay, Ana Lorena, go for it. I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a field way. And I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows up to monitor my work. Thank you. So the word is anxious, anxious, yes. anxious, yeah, very good. Okay, all right, do we understand the situation? Do you have any questions about any vocabulary or something you're not sure about? No, it's clear. There. Okay. All right. Uh, who can read the third situation for me? I can teach. Okay. Adam, I'm yeah. a shoe manufacturing manufacturing company. One of my employees gets aggressive whenever I point that the sh that he should follow safety procedures. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so we say pronounce this procedures. Procedures. Procedure. Yes, procedures. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, 
any questions about this, the vocabulary? Do we understand the situation? Okay. Okay. It's okay, teacher. All right, good. Thank you. And the last one, who wants to help me out with the last situation? Me, teacher. All right, go for it, Mirna. Okay. I work at the sales department. I made some mistakes in a report and the department misses a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. Thank you, Mina. Poor girl. <laughs> okay. So, do we understand the situation or are there any questions about the vocabulary? No question. No? Okay. So, we understand the four situations, right? Yeah. All right. So what I want you to do is the following. We're going to, I'm going to put you into small groups. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be discussing the situations and giving suggestions on what to do. Okay. How are you going to give suggestions? You're going to be using the conditional. Okay. The first conditional. So for example, the first one to just give you an example, okay? Uh, so my co my coworker Tim is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly, but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let if I let him know. Okay. So um you can say if you let him know that um, it bothers you when he interrupts you. And then we learned, right? We learned that there are different ways to express the, the, um, the first conditional. And one way is the using the imperative. So we can say, be respectful. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So we have the conditional part here. This is the conditional clause. And this is the result clause. Be careful, respectful. And in the result clause, we're using an imperative. Be, be respectful. All right. So what I want you to do is you're going to discuss with your group what are some possible um, suggestions you can give. And I want you to come up with at least three, three suggestions for every scenario. Okay, so three for this one, three for this one, Three for this one, three for this one. And you're always going to be using the first conditional. Now, with the first conditional, you can use will, we can use a model, a modal, or you can use an imperative. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Yeah? Any questions before I put you into breakout rooms? No, teacher. No? No, teacher. Okay.
Okay. Um, so let me just copy this and send it to you in the WhatsApp. Just give me a moment. Uh, excuse me. In just a moment. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. Okay, do you have, do you see the the image in the WhatsApp group? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. So remember, write them down. Don't just have it in your head, right? I want you to actually write the sentences down. Okay, so, and, and there's actually another reason why I, why I need you to write them down is because you're gonna be sharing with another group later. So if you don't write them down, you won't remember them, okay? So I'm going to open the rooms. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give you at least 20 minutes to do this. You should easily be able to do about 20 minutes. Okay, here we go. José Salvador. José Salvador. Antonio and Carlos. Hi, teacher. What happened to your group? I think um, I be alone because uh, Carlos Ernesto. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think in her, his name, uh, type the uh, listener. Yeah, but there's supposed to be two more people in your group, and I don't know what happened to them. Oh, I think one's coming in. No. I don't know what happened. There's supposed to be two people, two more people. Okay, I'm going to send you to another group then. Okay, teacher, thank you.
Okay. So, what do you want to take? The which number? First two, three, four. I can put two. The second two. The second one, okay. Hosman. Second. So. But they work. Birds, there one, four, three, three. Okay. And the music. Okay, I, I will take the last one. Okay. So Kevin, are you there, bro? Uh, really, right now I can't participate, Carlos. Excuse me. Really? You're working or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm working. Uh, is, working in the bed. Ah, I see, I see you in the bed. No, 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 no. I see you, <laughs> I see you in the bed in a few minutes ago, man. I, I'm going to share you my WhatsApp company and you will trust me. Okay, don't, don't explain. Don't explain. <laughs> okay, the okay, first one we, we have to do it in a group, okay? I, I will try to resolve this. But Kevin is so active. It's not yes, a problem. Yes, yes. No worry, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> You guys have questions? Distraction. Sorry? Do you uh, have questions? No, 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 teacher. No, we are uh, we share the the problems one by each for us and we will write the advices, I think, something like advices. Yeah, I, I yeah, just advice. want to remember you you use a word. Uh, this is like a recommendation or a advice, but do you use another word or a synonym? Uh, she said that we need to make the last sentence a bison sentence, or but I don't remember, teacher, what word do you use? This sentence has a, 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 a name, but we don't remember what is the name of the first conditionals. First condition. Okay. First condition. That's, that's right. Yes. Okay. So and we, 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 we did it. And when we make it, we share the answer between us and then maybe we can improve it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and I like the fact that you, that, that idea of, of, um, Everybody giving one suggestion. That sounds very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything you need, just press the button of um, ask for help. Okay. And yes. I'll come over. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Team with capital letter, sorry. <laughs> team D news. Oh yes. Uh, team. Yes, sorry. Me. I will get angry mm -hmm. with him. Yes, sounds good. Number three, I'm a new manager at a human factoring company. One of my employees gets a receipt whenever I point that he should follow safety proceed procedures. Mm. 
Do you have any questions? Mm, no, teacher, I, we are thinking. <laughs> You're thinking, okay. Yes. So what you can do is like, you can each give a suggestion because, um, Well, there's more than, well, basically, basically there's three of you that that can be, that can easily be talking and giving a suggestion. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm a new manager at a shoe manufacturing company. One of my employees gets aggressive. We never, uh, I point that he should follow safety procedures. We never. What's the meaning of we never? Let me see. Whenever. Mm -hmm. Cuando sea. Oh. Yeah. When I. When I. If my boss demand a lot of me, I feel too anxious. And you, Carlo? And Carlo? Uh, yes. Um, It's the I, same for you? Uh, it is similar. Uh, if uh, my boss and man uh, demand me rudely, uh, rudely way, I feel uh, anxious. anxious. Mm -hmm. If my boss demand me rudely way, rudely way, I will feel anxious. Mm -hmm. Anxious. The, uh, okay. Anxious. And the, the, the third one, uh, for example, yeah, if my coworker team interrupt me when I explain the process, uh -huh. comma, and I will let him know. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. The teacher, I can use in the field conditional when. When? When? When one of my employees become aggressive? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Possible. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the what condition of the soul do you have? It's a yeah. uh, new management. Ah. Uh. Uh, when I want of my employee become aggressive, when I give intuition, intu in, instruction, I will let him relax to give them to him. Instruction. Instructions. Instruction. Instructions. Instruction. Okay. Instruction.
uh, in other sentencing, I can use a model. A model? Model? Model. 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 I wore a sandals. Juan Carlos, I wore a uh, number four. Hey, four. Uh, number four, uh, I wore at the sales department. I made some stay in a big port. Yeah. And the department missing a good opportunity for in investment. Uh, the guys for the department uh, are all angry at time. At the, mm. sorry, at me, <laughs> at me. Mm. Uh, uh, do, do you have a resolution for, for, for this situation? Mm. When, uh, uh, if I, if are all angry at me, I will I, I I I will I will say that I uh, correct the, the mistake. If I make mistake in the report, well, step one. Oh, okay, uh, you, Shirley, can you hear me reading the step two? Ah, oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, to be uh, uh, invite inviting to participate. What do you think? Um, yeah, could be. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Um, so do you tell us to make suggestions to solve the issue, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. Okay, um, but in the first, you already give us one of three. But that was an example. You don't have we to use that one. Yeah. Ah, okay. You're going to write another one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that was just an example. Okay. Okay. Um. So, Osman, we had to write another. <laughs> Another suggestion, another thing that could be helpful with this. Uh, but, uh, uh, why do you don't write a suggestion? The last suggestions I told mm -hmm. you. Uh, ah, in, I invite to participate uh, all co-workers. Invite to participate all co-workers. So... Yeah, but why we will we uh, why do we suggest like uh, that everybody will have a uh, a space to make the questions if we already give it uh, have them to 
participate? No, I don't. Yes, for example, uh, if you if you invite, uh, for example, ten, ten, 10 people in your meeting, uh, yeah. when you start, you you can say the first people uh, in your term. Can you read the first step? Ah, uh, the people are going to read. Uh, when the people finish the read the the first step, uh, you you can ask them, uh, do you have a question about this step? Um, I don't know. I don't know if you uh, if you understand me. Mm, I, I think now that we are wrong. <laughs> Because um, the, the issue was that uh, Tim was bothering uh, the girl that is on the first exercise. So we had to suggest how that, mm -hmm, how to, how will she, how she will uh, tell Tim that she was no that he was bothering him i don't know we made a mistake <laughs> oh my god so, okay so so what can she do in other words yeah yeah what will uh what does she do what what can she do yeah what can she do to let him know that he's being bothered by him oh my god no we were wrong, Osman. <laughs> what? We were wrong. The this the the things we wrote are are not correctly. <laughs> really? Yeah, Why? yeah. Because they were a suggestion to tell everybody, not to tell Tim. The issue is with Tim. Tim is the one who is bothering. Uh, I would call her. Gabriela. So Tim is bothering Gabriela, you know? And we have to um, give suggestion to Gabriela to say why uh, she is being bothering by Tim, right? More or less. So how would you who would you tell Tim that you're being bothered by him? Hey. Oh, <laughs> okay. Like, uh, I will uh, talk with Tim uh, after the explanation that he was bothering me while but I while I Peru or can you say that different activities uh is depend uh your boss uh needed uh it's difficult when you're when you have a a toxic boss uh, I sometimes I have my my boss is 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 a woman, and the, the woman demand uh, many activities. is is very difficult, yeah. But if you uh, uh, have a uh, same case, the first one, I think that you can relax and think what is the best way, what is the best schedule. For uh, half the many activities when your boss uh, needed. Okay. Your sugeriría, if you don't feel in a good environment for work, you will try change a position. Because if you are not comfortable where you are, 
maybe you cannot work as well in a toxic environment maybe you will have nice result yes for me this is my my opinion about that if you don't feel in a good environment for work you will try to change your position yes okay um también also i i have another suggestion for that case if your manager is monitor your work you you will show self confidence ¿verdad? mientras le esté chequeando tiene que tener autoconfianza en lo que about what you doing right yeah and, and keep calm and and the other that that we were talking about if you feel anxious keep calm it will relax you yes okay entonces pasamos a, a la siguiente situación el siguiente contexto y dice no sé si le este buen día el de amarillo el último la muchacha Yes. Uh -huh. I work on the Sadly department and made some mistake in report on the department. Mason, a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. Yes, I. Yeah. The situation is, Open a is hole. complicated. And submit your head. Yes, because <laughs> you know you are wrong. No, it, this is a, 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 a many problems, no? But, but I she... don't know, imagine, imagine. Hello, Carl. Mm. was making the nation but being respect well that's the affairs so let's go with the third how will i tell team um let's write it so okay i will Make a pa pause in the explanation and tell him that he is being a little annoying and tell him to please keep. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Okay. So this is the third. I will send you in the in the what? Yes. In the Thank chat. you. And now we have to do the two, three, I got it. and four. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I will. I will. I will clean this. I did okay. send already. So next we have to make for this guy. I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a rude way. I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows to monitor my work. Okay, in this case, if my boss is demanding too much of me, I will tell him that... What is the mean? Uh, what is the mean shows? 
shows up. Shows up. Shows up. It's mm -hmm. like when he uh, appears like to your office. Like he is like coming to you or to, or to your office, like you know. Okay. He, so when he shows up, shows up to monitor your work, uh, you uh -huh. feel anxious because, yeah, he's coming and he's being a real, uh, being rude actually. So, in my case, if my boss, uh, makes me that. To feel that I will let, let's write, let's write, let's write. I will would tell him that but in this case we do have to be like not arrogant, so uh, I will tell him that he makes me feel anxious when he shows up in my office and start and if he continue continues to do that I will Mm, how do you say reduce uh reduce here reduce here reduce My... reduce i will reduce like that yeah okay reduce my work i don't i don't know if this is okay so if he makes me anxious when he shows up in my office if he continues i will reduce my work because um Mm -hmm. okay. Also, we can we can uh, we can suggest. Uh, I he he has to tell him his boss uh, that is not necessary. Uh, the boss uh, is. As, uh, ask him uh, the bad way because he, he understands very well. And I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I think he, he, what is the name, the person? Employees, what is the name? No, he doesn't have a name. No. Imagine, imagine that uh, you are the employee. Uh, for example, uh, for me, his name is uh, Miguel. Miguel has to to speak. To, to, Miguel has to talk with with his boss. Uh, that is not necessary. Uh, uh, speak uh, the bad way. Uh, it's necessary uh, that being rude, yeah, it is the it's more, more correct. It's this word. Like this, maybe? Uh, is... The employee has to talk <laughs> with it. Because, yes, because but... he understands very well. Like this? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Let's leave it like that. So we had a second for the second. We had to make it the tree. Um, what else? What else? So in this case, let's imagine that you are you are the the the, the employee, and your boss is demanding too much from you. So, um. What will will oh no? What will you do to um to tell the, now? No, I you did you already said what you have to do. I don't know what else we could say for the different employees. This situation, for example, I don't know the safety rules. 
the old people has uh, the safety rules. And in this case, you can talk with uh, uh, these employees and explain again uh, what is the, the problem. Yes, I yes, guys. How are you guys doing? Are we finished? Almost finished? Yes, teacher. We have in the last. Um, yeah, last situation. Yes. Okay. If there's anything I can help you with, let me know. What was it? Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Turn, turn <laughs> your microphone, okay? Okay. I, I went there. <laughs> if when we start the sentence, we can start with if, and also we can start with when okay. for this conditional. Teacher. Teacher, microphone. Uh. Okay, so um, you can use it, you can use when, so long as you're talking about the present. Okay, so if you say, for example, when, um, When he, when he shouts at me, actually, no, hold on, Nick. I think you could use it in the future. Just give me a second. When, Give me a second. Okay. Just a moment. I'm going to check something out. Um, yeah, so it's actually no, we wouldn't say when, but we could say words like whenever. Okay. Um, okay. Never. Hold on. No, oh, it's like the same thing. Whenever, when. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you could. You could use it. You could use it either yeah. in the pre in the present or the future. Yeah, that's possible. Are you ready, or do you need more time? Mm. No, not yet, Miss. In that last situation, we are thinking about what can us suggest okay. for that boss. Okay, no problem. Um, okay. I'll come back then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that if he continues uh, to 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 get to be being aggressive at him, I uh, at me sorry at me I will fired 
he. I will fire. No, no, no D. Fire. Ah, fire him. Mm -hmm. Fire, fire. So, fire. Uh, well. Okay. What will you tell if you were the manager and the employee doesn't follow? Oh my, there's a big community here. I didn't realize. <laughs> Ana Lorena? Hello, Ulises, Mirna, Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, can you guys tell me where you, who you were working with? Because I don't want to just send you to any room. In my case, I have a problem when I connecting with my phone. I can enter in a breaker room. Uh, the connection uh, me rebota, o sea, me regresa. Mm. No, no puede conectarse a los, a los cuartos, entonces, a los cuartos reducidos. A la, cuando, hecho, a las, a las altas, no sé. cuando estoy desde el teléfono, no. Cuando estoy desde la computadora, sí. Pero ahorita está en la computadora, ¿verdad? No, ahorita estoy en el teléfono. Mm. Ok. Bueno, voy a, a intentar moverla. A ver qué sucede. Aunque. Bueno, vamos a ver. Y Mirna, ¿con quién estaba usted? Yo estaba con Cifrido y con Sandra, pero no. Bueno, Cifrido ahí está. ¿Y Sandra? Sí, Sandra no, 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 no sé. No, no mm. sé qué pasa. Ok, ya sé. Sigfrido, ahí está. Okay, la voy a mandar. Voy a mandar ahorita. Eulice. Yes, I'm here, but uh, sometimes uh, I have I having problem with my internet. Mm. That's why. Uh, I uh, sometimes the red the is very bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't hear I don't hear them. I see, okay. Hosman con quien estaba? Who are you working with? What's wrong? Ms. Kucha? Hello, teacher. Hi. Yeah. Who, who are you working with? It's okay, ah, don't worry. Because the, my computer I'm problem the, the connection. Okay, no problem. Who were you uh, working so, with? Oh, the, yeah. Huh? Who were you working with? Osman, me escucha. Yeah, in the group. Sí, teacher, que ¿Sí? no se me escucha, que es por la... No. Está inestable la comunicación. ¿Cómo no? Sí le escucho. Lo que pasa es que creo que tal vez... Okay. Tal vez está lenta la conexión porque... Como que... Mm. Como que mis pre, mi preguntas le llegan muy tarde. Um, eh, who were you working with before? Yeah, in the group, just the interview, the, the question. Okay, so who, who, which people, who are the people that you were working with? 
¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Amanda en Carlos. Ok, perfecto. I'll send you right now. Ok, thank you. Hi. Finished, teacher. Oh, you're finished. <laughs> yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. Um, let me just uh, go and find the other groups and see what happens. And I think we'll 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 actually we'll come back in about one or two minutes. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Don't wear the the. If you don't wear the equipment, the safety equipment, you mm -hmm. will get fired. All right. So, guys, um, I need you to make sure you have. So I see that you've written it in the in in the document. Make sure that everybody has a copy of this. Like, I don't know if you want to take a screenshot or something because we're going to be sharing this with another group. Mm, so, me doy entender? Yes. Okay, mm. so everybody needs to have it. Okay. Got it? Yes, it should. Okay, yes. so, all right. Uh, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Hi guys, are you finished? Amanda, Kevin, are you finished? Yes? Hosman? Kevin, Hosman? Hola? Eh, Amanda? Eh, su micrófono está apagado, no sé qué. Thank you, sorry. I don't know. Uh, Kevin was a little, a little busy, but Josman and Carlos, I don't know why he is disconnected. Mm, okay, but are you finished? Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. I, eh, you have you have the information, right? So you can share with another group. Yes, each okay. one uh, select or choose one of the problems, and mm -hmm. after that, we made the, the sentence. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. If it win. All right, so guys, uh, okay. I need you to... Um, to are, are you you are finished right more or less okay make sure that you have the information because we're going to be sharing um that with other groups okay okay all right see you in a moment in the main room hello everybody hello um, so Mirna, Carlos, Sigfrido, Sandra, do we have, are we finished? Are you finished or no? The three sentences are not finished yet, all of them, but I tried to write one for each, one, one for each. example, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, what about your, were your other classmates with you participating? Carlos, Sandra, with uh, Sigfrido, were, were they work, working with you? In this room? No. Uh -huh. no, no, in this room, no, they are not. No. Ninguno no. de los tres estaba trabajando. Ah, yes. I think that maybe alone, they, they I don't know. I don't know. Ask. As you there. So so you were not working as a group. Talk talk with them now. 
Carlos, Ernesto, Sandra, Sigfrido, ¿están ustedes en la clase? Sí, sí estoy. Me llegó una llamada del trabajo y pues me distraje con eso, así que difícil agarrar el hilo de nuevo. Ok, pero mira, ahí estaba. Podía haberle preguntado a ella. Okay, so I, I want you guys working. The, 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 the idea of working in small groups is to have the opportunity of practicing more. Um, so I need you guys to work together as a group, not as individuals, okay? Um, Carlos, Sandra, are you there? Sandra? Sandra, usted está en clase. Que nunca le escucha participar, Sandra. Hola, Sandra. Sandra? Yeah. Bueno. Okay, I'm going to return you to the main room in a moment, okay? Okay. All right. You... Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Bye. Everybody has a copy of the sentences, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, manager. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Uh, I, 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 I. Todos ¿Sí? deben de tener. The reason no. is because. Um. Por eso les pregunto que antes que 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 lo regrese al. al a la sala principal, asegúrense que todos tengan esa copia porque después vamos a hacer nuevos grupos y van a compartir. Y si usted solamente tenía a un secretario en el grupo, ya no van a saber qué hacer. Ok. Ok. Ok, bueno, okay se los dicto ahorita entonces. Sí, vaya. Eh, quizás, quizás no van a tener tiempo de eso porque literalmente los voy a regresar en como medio minuto. Entonces, okay. eh, maybe you can share it in some other way. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. I will try it. Okay, guys. Um, so all right, so it seems that everybody's finished. Um, we do not have enough time to go to uh to the second part of the activity, which was to change groups and share, but we will be doing that tomorrow. Okay, so make sure that you, everybody has a copy of the sentences that you wrote with your group. So that tomorrow, when I send you to your new groups, you will all know what you can share. Okay? Sounds good? Sounds good.
All right, so let me uh, finish off um, by taking attendance. Okay, Emerson Ulysses. Present. Wonderful. Um, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, my mistake. My mistake, I'm just someone's not me, but it's the least there. Um, Ana Lorena Lovato, Orellana. Ana Lorena Lovato, not here. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez Cepeda. Present. Wonderful. Can we see your face, Carlos? Can you turn on the, the camera, please? Thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Um, Carlos Mauricio Benjivar Caballero. Present. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Edwin, Edwin Antonio. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Eulises Torres Torres. Present. Wonderful. Eliana Rebec Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present. Wonderful. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, Miss. Excellent. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Puede ser. Excellent. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Jose, uh, sorry, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present Miss. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Osman Enrique Hernández. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricelas Ramirez Guevara. Wendy Maricela. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Ro Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Teacher, she was present, but already is disconnected after the activity. Mm, okay, thank you. Uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Present. Wonderful, thank you very much. Okay, all right, guys. Um, so I will stay with uh, Ileana. Rebecca is not here. So if anybody wants to stay um, a little after the class to ask any questions, I'm here, I'm available. If not, well, 
that's it. I will see you guys until tomorrow. Okay. And remember, continue working on the platform where we should, you should be working on section number two now. Okay. So that's it. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful Thank night. You. Good Thank night. You. Have a good night, teacher. Good night, good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you, me. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, miss. Bye bye. Good night. Night, night. You're welcome. Night, night. Hello, Sandra. Sandra, are you there?